Shalom, shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone. And salutes to all the brothers out there doing this work in sincerity and in truth. And, um, you know, as you can see on the screen, I've done a video on this. It was from a movie. I can't remember the name of the movie now. You know, a little a, a duck about the end, but it was, I think it was more of a comedy, but it was, you know, but, you know, they mixed truth in with comedy. And, um, you know, as you can see, man, you got the Jake holding the sign representing the end of the world. And if you don't know and you can't see what's going on around you, we're here, the prophets of Great Millstone, starting with the apostles, are telling you that we're at the end of time, you know. We're at the end of days. We are. You know, I'm going to go into these scriptures, but you've got nothing but race riots, turmoil, you know, degradation. You know, all over the world. So anyway, I just got something just... Um, um, so, let me go into these scriptures, man. Now, you know, everything in the world has gone tits up. Moral fibres. Uh... You know, uh, crime, you know, adverse weather patterns and all that. And that's just all in the scriptures. But, you know, we're in the, um, when you read Revelations, we're in the beast system. And it's prophesied to go down. So, anyway, let me read this. It says, This epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. And how, what is the remembrance? When you go into the scriptures, you find that there's something called reincarnation, which means back in the flesh, man, back in the body. And the same men that were following the wonder world called Jesus Christ back on, in the Roman Empire 2,000 years ago, they're following him in this day and age, bringing out his word, his prophecies in the modern day Roman Empire, the beast system. And we've been given back the truth, the true name of the Lord, which in the Hebrews, Yahweh Shai. He wasn't walking around called Jesus or or uh, Jesus or whatever language you want to pull it. You know, it was Yahweh Shai, it was Hebrew. Right? That was his name. Yeah, okay, it says that you be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandments of us, the apostles of the Lord and Saviour. Okay, and we and we got the 12 tribe sign. When you read James 1 and 1, it was to the 12 tribes scattered abroad. So we know who the Jew, Judah is, so-called Negroes. Benjamin, the so-called West Indians, Levi, the so-called Haitians, Gad, the so-called North American Indians, Reuben, the Seminole Indians, Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans, um, uh, Manessa, the Cubans, etc., etc. Asher, the you know, Peruvians and stuff, and you know, people down there. So, you know, we got this truth back. Knowing this first that they shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own loss. And you got all these like look what just happened to the 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 the, the discomfort. He was a scoffer and now the dude's all locked up over money issues and cause he sold out. And that was a scoffer. They were mocking the true men. Because and, and, and you know what you you've got loads of scoffers out there on them boards, you know, people mocking and the Lord's getting them. The Lord is getting everybody. You know, the great I told you so moment is when the Lord reveals and raises up his men, <laughs> you know. Second uh, Peter 3 and 4 and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. <laughs> well, you, you were in the time of seeing the promise, so fret not, keep scoffing. Because if you had your spiritual eye open, your penal gland, <laughs> you know, whatever, if you, you know, you... You would know these things, but you, you you guys are not deep. You really just you'd really just um you got demons on you, and demons are real, man. I wanted to do a video on that, Lord willing, because that's another thing. Demons are real, and you a lot of you individuals out there, you plagued with foul spirits. If you didn't know, that's darkened you from the from the understanding of this light. That America's gonna be destroyed. 
okay, that the Lord's going to deliver the children of Israel, the elect of the Israel, and so-called UFOs. There's going to be race rights, martial law, famines. In this time, right now, as we speak, it's coming. Mark of the beast is the RFID chip. Okay? A lot of you people are scoffing. It says, for this willingly they are wi for this they willingly are ignorant of, by that the word of the of the Lord, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that was that then was being overflowed with water perished. So when you go back to the time of Noah, you go before the Egyptian Empire and all that, man. You're going back now, thousands of years. <clears throat> um you know, the Lord flooded the earth because wickedness and wicked philosophies waxed and high. Like in this society, you know, people don't understand, you know, you know, there's this adultery happening. There's no, you know, the family structures are broken up. You know, there's transgenders, LGBT, everyone just freaking off. You know, there's no moral fibers, murders, suicides, drugs, you know, prisons and all this, all, you know, Chemical warfare, GMOs, nuclear missiles. You think that this place is of the Lord? You, you crazy, man? This is this is hell. And who's on top? The Edomites, man. The Edomites are on top. And did you, how did the, how did the, um, all these presidents talking about? Yeah, I'm American. Or how did you get America? Look at the Native American Indians. That's the evidence of your crime. The so-called Negroes. You brought them over there, but no one wants to talk about that. Give me a break. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word which are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. So in this day and age, <laughs> the, the Lord has got um, angels holding back. You people don't even know that. You know, you walk around, you know, you go to cafes, bars, you go to clubs, which is nothing but Bacchus. And what happens in clubs? Adultery. Women going in there, knowing they got men, thinking, oh, which nigga can, uh, can I get to, to kiss my ass this week? But it's all power. It's all power trips. You know? Man. I just, uh... So like, man, I was just thinking about something and I was just kind of daydreaming, you know, meditating on something. And, but it's the second Peter 3 and 7, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. And let me show I'm going to go back to that second Peter, but let me show you something juicy, something real juicy right here. This is Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And the wind represents destruction. And I'm going to do a video on that. Even Esau knows that, man. He had a movie called When the Wind Blows, which proves that the wind represents destruction. So the, so to hurt what the wind... He's gonna hurt not nothing, nothing until, until the Lord gives the green light. Second verse, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power, <laughs> have the sealing of seal of Yahweh, man. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, "Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till so we have sealed the servants of of our power in their foreheads." And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of Israel. And you've got people that say, uh, the tribes are done away with it. You know, it doesn't matter about that. Well, the scriptures just said there's going to be 144,000 sealed of all the tribes of Israel. And, we, and we're getting the breath, man. Look at the camps. You've got great millstone camps all over the world for the spirit and power of your Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You know, starting from the apostles. It's a beautiful thing to see, bro. Brothers out there strong. Okay. So that's all I gotta say on that man. Let me go back to um Peter. So you you walking around all 
out your mind. You don't know that the Heavenly Father's already ready, ready to set you guys up. He's already set you guys up. You guys are done. Okay. There's angels ready to wipe this place out. And like we said, if you look at what Esau's doing, he's pushing AI. Do you know what AI is? He's pushing artificial intelligence, 5G, 6G now. You know, mind-altering technology can of control. He's monitoring all your transactions. You you know who you know who who does that? The Illuminati, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers. They're promoting LG um, um transgenderisms to children in the school. They're trying to get everyone chipped, they're pushing the mark of the beast, they're pushing total control of everything, transactions, they're chipping the animals, they're trying to chip you, they're chipping human beings. You know, open your out your damn eyes, man. Open your damn eyes. <laughs> Second Peter's free. <clears throat> Where was I at? Huh? Uh, seven. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of un ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant. Of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us, would not willing that any of uh, any should perish, that all should come to repentance. So <laughs> you know, the Heavenly Father is actually like got angels already they've already got hits. Out in this world, that's why everything's crumbling. You know, morals and 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 these countries. I'm always doing videos on Brexit. Uh, we do videos on Trump, uh, uh, the wall. You know, and and Russia, China, the World War Three pending. You know, we, we all you know all types of different things because the scripture says watch as well as pray. You know. So, you know, uh, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise because it is going to happen. As some men count slackness, well, that ain't going to happen, man. You, you, you're just a zombie. You're just a zombie. You know, you know, 2019, you, your ass is still asleep. You get up in the morning, you go to your job, you just about can pay your bills and you, and you think that's what, you think that's life. Then you die. Okay. But it, but is long suffering to us would not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And, and, they, and a lot of you people in the mainstream uh, Christianity organizations, they're not <laughs> they're not giving you no answers. You guys don't know what the hell's going on. You're not getting no answers. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. And and the men that stand firm, you're gonna be you're gonna be um delivered from all these things. And that's why we we're, we're declaring Yahweh Shai, man, because when Yahweh Shai comes, bro, in that great ship, <laughs> I'm telling you now, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be smiles and, and, and dances. It is damn sure not. It's not going to be fun in games. It's going to be total all-out destruction. That's what it's going to be. And and you better, man. You you think you you keep playing with the with the heavenly Father and think that, man. In the time of Noah, the only people that were saved was Noah and the, the eight of them. Okay. Everybody else fucking died. They fucking got drowned to death, man. In terrible fashion. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, 
what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness. So all these people out there, you mocking the prophets and all that, man. I'm telling you now, you keep doing that, man, because you don't know what you're in for. So we got, like apostle, apostles always say, Apostle Gabbara always says, we got the vision. We can see. So we, we see beyond this, we, you know, we see beyond this, we see the future. You don't, you guys don't see the future. You, you, you fucking lab rats, man. You fucking lab rats. Okay. The Heavenly Father is getting ready to bring down some serious judgments. Second Peter 3 and 11. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Lord. That's what we're supposed to be looking for. When is the Lord going to bring this fire, this destruction? You don't, you know, how many people do you hear talking about that? You hear us though, Great Millstone prophesying that every week. So that proves that we got to be, the Lord's dealing with Great Millstone, okay? Because we're doing what the, what the scripture said, we would, what the men would be doing. You fucking scoffers. Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Lord, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall mount with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. So like I said, we've got vision, we look beyond this. We want the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. And the scripture says what the Yahweh Shai shall come as a thief in the night. So how is he going to come in a giant ship? That You know, like you got the movie Independence Day. Or even the movie The Day the Earth Stood Still. The, the, the Earth is going to stand still, man. Everything just gets shot down. Weeping nationally. People ain't going to believe it. You're going to start seeing some strange things. And we've seen strange things. We're in, we're in the times of some real strange things. A lot of spiritual things have been happening as well. With brothers and stuff like that. So now it's time to get in the spirit. You know, we're starting, we're starting to see a lot of spiritual things happening, man. Okay. And um, I mean, I'm going to leave it on that. You know, I don't have to read no more on that. But like I said, man, I was just meditating on these things in the spirit, man. And, you know, all you, you got to do is, is, is just is see, just, you know, watch as well as pray and, 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 and just and keep doing the work, bro. Because, you know, this place is going down. All you scoffers. Like, we used to have this one scoffer walk past the camp every week. Talk about, you're wasting your time and all this. And guess what? You don't even hear him saying that anymore. You, you were saying that for years. Then one, it came to one point where he come past the camp and he didn't even say that. He, he actually said, you're speaking the truth because things changed. Because a lot of things changed. Donald Trump, you had Obama, then you had Trump. You know, a lot of things have happened. People are losing their minds. People are getting more proud. People are getting more wicked. The scripture says people would get more wicked on the planet Earth. Men shall be loves of themselves. Wickedness shall be... I mean, wickedness is on an all-time high now. And this is why the Lord is going to put a close to all the fucking fun and games. The Lord is going to put a stop to all the fun and games. And then, like the scripture says, then you shall know that there have been a prophet among you. Okay. So with that, we can say shallow one.